Hey, hey, it's me, Nala, Nala, like the Lion King, and this is my channel, DB Nala, done by Nala. Hello, welcome. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Thank you so much for the views. This is so exciting. It's so nerve wracking. Give me more critiques. Give me, you know, just talk to me. Let me know what you guys think, what's too much, what's too little, and subscribe and put a little notification thing on. But today I'm going to be opening up two Amazon items that I've been waiting for, and I'm going to be drawing a design for a t shirt I made for one of my items. But you guys just relax and have fun and let me know bye okay so i got a easy sticker maker it's supposed to be really cool i saw the reviews and it was just kind of like this is so easy so simple so cheap so i'm gonna go ahead and talk about it so i finally got in the mail like two days ago prime is amazing first off but yeah i kind of just start off ripping my box open because i mean like i'm not gonna store it so why not but yeah honestly i don't really read instructions at first i kind of just go in and just like you know what whatever happens happens honestly because i mean hey artists are kind of crazy it's fine and i'm trying to mess with it and <laughs> As you can tell, I should have read the directions because I almost immediately messed up. But you know, it's fine because I know, picked it back up, read the directions, and I'm like, okay, cool, I got this. Real simple, all right, cool. But here I go, fiddling with the paper again, but I mean, hey, I'll figure it out eventually. But I finally get the paper done, get it in, it's going good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my actual design. I couldn't think of anything except for the one I already have on my arm. Ugh. Yeah, it's fine but I just put you're good just kind of something simple honestly I didn't want to think too hard on it because I'm gonna do a bunch of stickers anyway but yeah they said that I could that looks like that. don't you lose these for your butt um they said that I can just go ahead and cut that out and roll it right up in there so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out cut it out things are going well and I'm gonna go ahead and just put it right in the little sticker maker and roll it out let's see rolling rolling and it's sticking and i'm just like how in the world is it sticking i don't know i'm not a scientist so i'm just gonna go ahead and cut it out so i can go ahead and try it out honestly logically it didn't make sense to me but i mean hey at the end of the day a lot of stuff doesn't make sense but i'm just gonna cut it and just see what happens yeah this is very serious Cut it. The trickiest part is to get the sticker off. That's the one thing that was bothering me. I could not find the edge of it. So I was literally trying to pick at this thing <laughs> for forever. And I'm just like, okay, all right, okay. And then boom, my sticker is off and it wow. looks beautiful. And I'm just like, oh my God, it comes right off perfectly. I'm thinking it's gonna take off my hair on my hand. But I'm just like, it looks so good. I was just so happy. I'm like 10 out of 10. Great product. Great product. Okay, so my next product is this t-shirt maker. It's so cool. You can make mug design, shirt designs, and like plate designs. The list goes on. But I found on Amazon, it was the renewed one. So the seller gave me like extra stuff to practice on. That was so nice of them. And you know, I thought it was really cool because I mean, hey, ball on a budget. <laughs> Well, it turns out I don't have a printer, so I technically can't even do my t-shirt press right now. So <laughs> I have all these shirts, and I was gonna print on. I gotta have a little bit more time because I gotta get the money to get the printer. But I found some shirts at Walmart. Vintage. I got this really cool tie-dye gray shirt. I always get extra large because it just fits more comfortable. And I have this one. They're so cute. Okay, so I have my shirts. So I will be doing my t-shirt printing, just not this week it's gonna have to be next week or the week after that i'm not sure yet maybe i get to print at someone else's house you never know um but you still have a video because i am going to draw my t-shirt design for you guys so at least that's fun <laughs> but let me know you know is there any good deals on t-shirt prints you know if you can find anything on amazon because you know that two-day shipping for prime is immaculate so let me know in the comments if I can find a printer really quickly it can't be like I think it's like you can't have like one that has laser printing I think I can't remember it's like a certain paper you have to do for t-shirt printing but yeah I'm gonna get into this drawing video so you guys are gonna still have something to look at all right so a lot of my stuff like I told you before revolves around mental health so I wanted to do something kind of more free will because a lot of my pieces have like 
really like strict meaning just like super realistic and I haven't really gotten back to my roots of just creating imaginary people um, I'm tired of drawing my face <laughs> but you can see I still added my mold just for little accents to show that it's somewhat of my brand as you can guys can see I always start off with kind of like a black uh, drawing of everything kind of like I like that super nice strip kind of um, pencil um, I'm also using Procreate by the way, I love Procreate. Um, it lets me do Photoshop and other things and also draw like I'm drawing on my sketchbook. But yeah, I always start with my black and then I go into my solid colors. So that's kind of how I operate as far as like coloring and things like that. I go with solid colors, then I get more into darker colors and my lastly is my highlighting colors. One of the things I love to do also is like layering. Like I do a lot of solid colors and I come back and take my eraser and brush it out with like airbrush type things. I love layers. I always add different textures and stuff. The shine and the gloss, my favorite. I always add a little white little overcast at the end and it's just so pretty. This piece brings the whole piece together. Um, but this is like kind of one of my designs I'm thinking of doing. I have another one in the works and I'll probably work with it with you guys to see how it feels. I was uncomfortable with some of these designs, you know, with the lettering. If you guys have any recommendations, I might just go with like solid white lettering for like the very bottom. I don't know, we'll see. I'll show you guys at the very end kind of like the two choices I was thinking about. But yeah, you know, I'm kind of excited to just start drawing on the channel and just kind of creating with you guys and getting your guys' input. It feels really good, kind of comforting in a sense, I guess. But it just kind of feels good that I haven't been really able to draw freely like that. So doing just free draw really does kind of boost my spirits a little bit. Okay, so I have two designs for the I'm Dynamic, Don't Make Me Choose. So the idea behind that is just mental health, just the idea of the stigma that women have so many different emotions and so many different, you know, kind of alter egos, I guess. And I want to just throw it in their face like, you know, okay, don't make us choose two powerful individuals. So this was just the first design, which would be one. And then we have our second would be two. So if you guys could by the end of this video or after the video, go ahead and comment one or two. And so see which ones I want to make is in t-shirts. So I'm going to try to get some t-shirts when I get my printer. If you guys want to help out also, I got to go fund me down there. But um, yeah, I just, I want to be able to make these shirts. I'll probably, probably just do one for that week I get the printer. And then, then we'll see if it's kind of like hot commodity, if people really like it. And then I will option that on my website, which is dbnala.com. If you guys were, you know, wanted to snoop around and see who was up. But yeah, thank you so much for watching it. And I will have that video hopefully sometime soon but next week it's gonna be real fun i'm gonna have special guests it's just and i'm gonna have some more art by the way but thank you for tagging along and just being amazing and subscribing you know the boot the like and then the subscribe and then the notifications but thank you Mm-hmm. <laughs>